So what, I'm having a cream tea for breakfast. I'm nearly 20, I can do what I want. I'm a functioning adult now. First of all, before I get into what I'm about to say, this jumper, I left it at my partner's house for like six months. And every time I kept going there, I was like, oh yeah, I'll pick it up before I go. And I just never did, I just always forgot. And this is my favorite jumper and it has been a tough six months without it. And I finally got it back. My dog just came upstairs. Hello everyone, this is Ozzy. I don't know how he got upstairs, he never comes upstairs. Anyway, um, today I'm going to be doing badger pre-baiting. Um, as part of my job, I do pretty much a bit of everything. Um, recently I've been doing a lot of badger work, vaccinating badgers against TB. Before anyone mentions it, those back there are not dirty laundry, it's just my pyjamas. Um, so I'm going to take you along uh, with me doing pre-baiting. I am currently taping you to my dashboard so that you don't move while I'm driving. This is either going to work or cause serious damage to both my camera and my dashboard. We shall see. This is what you guys look like. Oh my God. That is bad. This is exciting, guys. This is the first time you've been in the car with me while I'm actually driving. And ooh, you're a bit <laughs> you're a bit wobbly. The road to my house is awful. There's just potholes everywhere. The road is falling apart. In fact, we're going to come up to the worst part of the road in a second. It just just look, watch this. That wasn't even exaggerated, that's how much my body moves. Also, with my road, even though it's falling apart, there's speed bumps on it. But look, there's a speed bump, why? This is a country road that only three people use on a regular basis. Really windy, really narrow, full of potholes, no one's going fast here, you do not need speed bumps. It's about a 20 minute journey to where I'm going, so... I'm going to stop recording here. I'll be back when we get to the first location. <coughs> We're at the first location. I brought my dog with me because I work in the middle of nowhere. So I bring him along so that he can have a runabout. Say hello. Are we gonna go walkies? Are we gonna go walkies? Okay, let's go. location done next location i can't film because it's in someone's garden i'll see you when i'm on the way to the last location so see you in a bit all right just done the second location i parked my car next to a massive gorse bush and i got freaking stabbed all over my hands and it really hurts Let's see if I can get there without using maps. So the next place we're going to is truly in the middle of nowhere. To the point where there's this one part of the road and it's the steepest, awkwardest, most like awful part of the road. The section that I'm gonna drive past is right next to the Land's End Airport. So if you're lucky and you time it right, you can drive next to it as a plane is either landing or taking off. This tape is not working. It's like not sticking to my dashboard. But I let this car pass because I'm, I didn't stall, fuck off. Okay, you can't be mad at me for stalling. I haven't even been driving for a year, so you can't be mad at me. An annoying thing about Cornwall is that there are millions of junctions where you can't see if there's cars coming either side until you're literally in the middle of the road. We're coming up on the really awkward part of the road. 
It's so bad you have to go back to first. Ugh, I hate it so much. Plane just took off. So yeah, this is the last location. Then I'm gonna go back home and chill out for the evening. I've decided to make a korma, but instead of using chicken, I'm going to use corn. like a cat vomited all over the rice and I didn't make enough rice so <laughs> my dog is currently barking at the wind beginning of 2022 I basically promised myself to get back into reading. As a kid I loved reading. I only read this one series of books called Warriors which I really enjoyed as a kid and then after then I didn't really read. This year I basically promised myself to get back into reading which has gone well actually. I've read all those books that are up there. I've read seven books this year so far, which include The Hobbit, Travelling Cat Chronicles, Tales of Earth, See the first four books, White Fang, Tiger, Natural History of Dragons, and Cara Delevingne's Mirror Mirror. And I've just started this book, which I was actually gifted this book years ago by my mum, because this author, um, Jackie Morris, she wrote this children's book that I loved and it was about dragons and I just loved the illustration and so my mum gifted me this book which is more of like an actual book book but now that I'm getting back into reading I decided let's give it another go. What I do with all the books that I own is that I create a unique bookmark for them. For example for the Hobbit one I made this bookmark for it and for this one I made this. But yeah, I really do recommend people to start reading. The reason I wanted to start reading more books is because I noticed every evening when I'd go to bed, I would, without even realising it, pick up my phone and spend like an hour on my phone before bed. But anyway, it's 5.30 and I'm gonna go feed my dog and make some dinner. Also, all my comfy bottoms are in the wash. These were the only bottoms that I had. I'm also wearing scream, scream socks. It's one of those days where we're all just a bit higgledy-piggledy.